welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's a lot of spooky crafty stuff. I'll throw it out there. We have coffee in my Drink Up Grinches cup. Today, well the first, started Halloween's Giving Miss. It's a phrase I think I'm coining. I don't know if I'm the only one that says that, but it's the beginning of fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the things back to back. Halloween's Giving Miss. It's the time of year where everything just kind of blends. You say hi, baby? Oh, he said nope. No. We'll put him down. All right, so I got some stuff to do some crafting. I'm hoping to get some videos up. I know a lot of you like DIY videos. I'm just, my life is so busy. I know it's not really an excuse, but it is. I just don't have time, but I'm gonna try. So I got some things. I got a bottle of 70% isopropyl alcohol to make potion bottles for some Halloween decor. I saw this on another channel. Um, they take alcohol, which keeps it, I guess, from turning funky. So you can just use water if you're not gonna keep it. Um, food coloring and mica powder, and it makes these swirly bottles. We're gonna try it, but I needed alcohol. Uh, for display, I am all about these baskets. They had them in white, but I thought for Halloween with the black, and I can put my little cross stitches in it if we get there. Um, and this, I think it's like raffia, woven and stitched. Um, but it is part of, it is Dollar Tree. I don't know what this new silver tag is. Maybe their home decor, but yeah. So I grabbed that. Pretty decent size. And like I said, they had them in white. So I grabbed that. Um, I'm just going to grab no order here. To take to work, I like to have a cup at my office for under my coffee maker uh, when I brew coffee. And then I usually pour it into mine. So I don't care if it gets gross, but I'm loving this. I love plaid, just so we're all aware. So I thought that's cool for office. And if I forget it or I don't have a cup with me, I can drink out of it. So that will go to the office. Um, maybe not. Okay, we'll leave that alone for a minute. It's berries. I did purchase ribbon because, you know, I don't need ribbon in my life. But. So I got at, I'm sorry, my allergies. I got at Michael's a wire frame, like the ones we get at Dollar Tree, but it has a cobweb. It was half price, so I think I paid $5. So I want to do a wreath or something for my front door, but I'm not sure the direction I'm going. But I definitely want to do black and purple on my front porch. So I grabbed this ribbon, two spools. If I make a bow, we'll see. Um, I also got some purple sparkly ribbon. Again, I'm not sure the direction. I just know a color. And then I grabbed some cobweb ribbon. And these are all nine feet uh, wire edge. So they are easy to, do, to make things with. Um, to hang my wreath on my front door, I got this purple wreath hanger because purple. Look, it came off in one piece. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then to decorate some things, I grabbed some little purple sp uh, spiders. These are on clips. You can just pull them off and pretty much hot glue them wherever you want, which is my plan. So I'm going to leave all this stuff together because hopefully it'll be for one DIY video with two projects. That's my, my thought and I will show you. So I definitely needed ribbon because I don't have anything like that. I just thought this was fun. It's a soap dispenser. I don't even know what it smells like. It is um, a Mara Beauty. I don't know if that's a Dollar Tree offset or not. Um, it just says hand soap, pomegranate vanilla. I wonder if it's red. Nope. Mm, that's pretty. I just thought it would be fun in my guest bathroom. I have a little half bath, little powder room, if you will. So it's just a black skull to go with my theme, right? I also just took some Advil sinus and it's stuck right there. I don't know if I'm the only one that has a hard time swallowing these gel things. I won't be buying them. Um, also for some front door 
activity. I grabbed two of these big spiders. I was hoping they had them in purple, but honestly, I don't mind bringing some orange into my front porch. So I thought that was fun and sparkly. And because of the amount of glitter, however, it's not terrible fallout. Um, these will stay in the bag until we're ready to do something with them. And these will get hot glued on again to something that's going outside. I have an idea besides the wreath. Um, and our, while we're in that vein, I picked up, instead of bows, I was thinking doing like three of these big flowers together and then a little bit of the ribbon sticking out behind instead of a big bow. So I grabbed this purple, I'm loving these colors, this purple, like a light pinkish purple, this darker purple with the black glitter and then a black with the purple. And I love things in threes. So I'm thinking I can wire or glue these together somehow to make the bow and then use some of the purple or whatever to come out behind it. Um, almost like a mom if you're in Texas or the South. I can make a, a flat backing and kind of decorate it and attach it. That's kind of where I'm at. We'll see again, but I needed options. We always need options, especially when you don't know what you're doing. We'll just sit down with a glue gun and we'll make it work. Hello? I think one of the cats just coughed. Okay. Um, not, well, this is seasonal. So I, re I got another one of these. If you follow me on social media, on Instagram or on my Facebook group, I took this off took out these staples and I made a cross stitch and used it. It was a squirrel and I decorated this specifically. And then I was like, well, I need this one as well. Oh, I think this, yeah, this one has a little bit of a crack to it, but I can fix that. Um, I can leave it just like that or take this off. Now there is glue behind it. So you either want to take it off and clean it or sand it and then maybe repaint. I don't know, but these are thick nice just pieces to sit out for the holidays we have thankful and grateful we'll do our thumbnail i pick my own thumbnail some people wait and let us or let youtube do it mm -mm. i'm not gonna do that no um i grabbed these these are thumbtacks with the blue blue velvet which i was going to use on the corners to like to replace this but then i ended up getting upholstery tax but i feel like these would work the same you would just have to be a little more gentle nailing them in but in the living room of my house i'm doing gold uh like a mustard this blue and a cream and so i thought well i can figure something out um okay some more crafty bits I picked up, well, this isn't really crafty, but come on. I don't know if the legs are staying or going, but it's adorable. Um, it's just a little bag, but can you just imagine making it a gift bag for somebody, especially a black cat lover? This does not have to be only for Halloween. I get all my best black cat stuff this time of year, but you can remove his little legs and just have it be a little gift. And if you have a girl black cat, you can maybe put a bow if you want or whatever. It doesn't matter. But I loved it. So I got it because, the black cats. Oh, more crafty bits. I did. I got a lot of crafting stuff. Um, I picked up this and it is to hold beads. I don't use it for the medicine. I'm using it to hold beads. I bought a bunch and I don't know where they're at, but I make counting pins for cross stitch or decorative pins to go in your pin cushion and they're pretty big. And so I use these, I'm taking them with me to Canada for a make and take at my retreat and this holds them perfectly. I bought four, I only needed three. Fine, I will use that for other bits and bobs. Um, I've been collecting these little macrame kits I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with it, but I feel like one day we're going to have a macrame day. And I just thought this was adorable. And it just makes this little, I don't even know what they're calling it. Doodah is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a doodah. 
but I love, I love macrame. And I also can take it apart and use the yarn or the string or the whatever. Um, this is what I'm going to be making the potion bottles in for decoration. And I may get my Cricut out and put, or like paper tag. I'm not sure, but I wanted to show you. Here's the thing. They are glass. They do have the cork. If you're making potion bottles with the alcohol, what I've heard is it's better to move, take this cork and put a rubber cork if you're planning on keeping them seasonally and then dip it in wax or hot glue or something to seal it or you'll get evaporation. I don't really know, but um, I thought these are the perfect size for just a little vignette. Now, I can tell you that I don't know why all the Dollar Tree stuff comes and it feels greasy, like there's oils or something. So I will take them all out. I will take all the corks out. I will go downstairs and I will wash them in my sink in hot soapy like Dawn dish soap of some sort um, and let them dry completely before I do any type of crafting. And I do that with all my Dollar Tree stuff or any glass that I bring home. You can just rub them with alcohol if you're gonna put a sticker but this whole thing is just oily. So I want to wash them. But I thought, and I feel like I have some more kicking around here that I picked up earlier in the season. So we're going to do a little DIY. I will try to make that a video. However, I don't know that it's going to be a very long video because it's an easy little process. Um, and then I got this just to sit out because, well, it's got coffee. And it says, autumn leaves and lattes, please. This will go near my coffee bar. I love this wood bead detail. However, if you're not into farmhouse and you're not into the beading, take it off. It's just stapled on. You could also like masking tape this off, spray paint this, paint it a different color. You don't have to be into farmhouse to use some of this stuff. But I think for me, fall is definitely lends itself to more rustic, but also this is just free floating in there which is interesting so if you wanted to put something else i feel like you could pry this apart in one of these corners um and take it out and redecorate Ooh, i didn't do that somebody else did somebody else wanted to see if it comes off and it does uh, but i love these and this will probably just sit at my coffee bar i have to redo it for fall i think um, I do have a couple things from the dollar spot or the plus section too. Um, and then I found these and I feel like I saw these before, but I'm not 100% sure, but they're, they are, they're calling them stencil sticker kit. Okay. Which is interesting to me that they're calling it a stencil, which I'm 100% sure it is a stencil. I mean, that's how it looks. So what they're saying is I'm taking this one out this says um that's so Franken right like that's so Frankenstein so what they're saying is you would weed out and by weed you would pull these little center stickers out and then tape this onto something and paint over it and that would be your stencil but you can also go the opposite direction and I'm gonna show you. So there's like two ways to do this, right? I am going to do it like I would do, hold on, I don't have a little tool with me so we're gonna have to use my nails. We're gonna go Cricut style, right? And I'm weeding it how I would if I wanted to make it a transfer instead of a stencil. Bear with me, guys. This one does not want to give up. There we go. Um, you just want to be gentle. Easy peasy. Nope, you're coming back. All right, well, I lost, I lost my letter, but I'm, I'm, I'm good about sticking it back down. So hang on, I'm put this in the trash. And the good thing is they cut it so hard that it... So 
if you don't want to get to paint out and do all that, you pull out the negative space, leave it like this, get some transfer tape, i.e. Dollar Tree contact paper, slap a big piece, rub it, rub it, rub it. You peel it off so the letters stick, and then you can slap this on anything you want. And this, these stickers become your paint. So you can do it either way. You can pull out the letters and paint, or you can just transfer that. That's how I'm planning on using these as a transfer. This one says, I'm just here for the booze, creeping it real, what a haunt, what a haunt mess. So they're going punny with it here. This one just says, trick or treat, which is love candy. I love the trick or treat. This one says, if you got it, haunt it. Hey, beautiful and boo y'all. So I thought they were fun. We'll try them out for $1.25. If you don't have a Cricut maker or a machine that cuts out um, any kind of die cutting like that, pick these up. And I'm hoping they have them for Christmas. I feel like they might have last year. Um, I grabbed these dominoes. I was very curious if they are wood, like the tumbling tower bricks and just a different shape. I mean, I know they have domin or they have the, they have the, uh, yeah, they are wood. Okay. So they're just little wooden. Yes, they have that on the front, but that's easily painted over. If you want to do any kind of building and you, again, you don't want to be cutting wood and stuff. These would be great. Um, of course, now I have a mess all over my counter because I just dumped on my desk. I just dumped them all out. So these are nice little, um, oh, they're stuck together. Nice little pieces that you can use obviously for dominoes, but for crafting purposes, I love to use these if I need to raise something up or put feet on something, anything of that nature. I like to have, um, I like to have these little extra bits of wood, if you will, laying around my house because it's just so easy to grab one. And sometimes I need different sizes. And again, for $1.25, I can easily put up, make these a pedestal for anything or use them a couple stacks thick to hold up a sign. I'm just trying to clean up my mess here so I don't have it all over the place. Like if you want to put, uh, do a stand up, you can glue them to the back and make a little foot, if you will. Here we go. Oh, why is there a... Okay, that's bizarre. There's an odd number of dominoes in here. So instead of just giving you two extra, they put a bump. I'll show you. So that little bump right there is as thick as two bricks. But anyway, I thought these are great. Plus I love the little container, keeps them together. But if you wanna make like pedestals, any kind of steps, if you're doing any kind of decor, those are fun. Oh. Guys, I'm a mess today. But these are gonna go in. I have a drawer of just wooden bits and bobs, which I feel like I, I made a pumpkin out of crochet, right? And I was looking for some wooden sticks and I lost them. Um, I grabbed this for my kitchen sink. We're gonna see if it works. It's just to put down so things can sit on top of it. I don't know. And then I found these random copper socks. I feel like it's a lot of packaging for a dollar pair of socks, but they are like, I assume they have some copper in them, but they also have rubber grips on the bottom, which I find bizarre for a sock. However, if you have hardwood floors or if you're traveling and you want some socks, like I would totally wear these in a hotel to keep my feet from getting dirty on the carpet. Yeah, it says that they are copper compression socks for your feet. So they have this, this tight ribbing around your arch to help with arch support. And I'm assuming that they are anti-odor, graduated compression, increased circulation. They're polyester PVC. I don't see anything in here that says copper. So maybe that's just the brand. 
They were $1.25. I, I bought them to show you. Whatever. Okay, so the last two things I picked up are from the 535 five, this plus section. And you're going to see this in another one, I think, in a different video. But I grabbed two of these. I didn't realize that they had solid solid orange and then they have one that's orange, yellow, and white, like candy cane. But this is a three stack pumpkin. Excuse me. A three stack pumpkin, right? It's hollow. I've been looking at videos on TikTok and stuff to see what people are doing with them. But I think with this one specifically, I'm gonna paint it black, all three layers, and glue some of that spiders onto it and stack it on my porch. But let's see if I can get it apart. And then, okay, and then they have, okay. So this is the top layer. It's just plastic, but they snap together. They snap together, right? They're hollow, but you could totally, if you wanna put this outside, get one of the 12 inch circle wooden, circle ringy thingies, put something weighted in here, some dirt, some sand, a bag of rice, glue it on, and then I think it would stand up. Or you could just drop a brick or something down in the top before you put it together. Um, you can also just use it indoors. It's very shiny. It's obviously very plastic. I've seen a lot of people, but let me just tell you it. Oops. It snaps together pretty well. Um, so I saw a lot of people spray painting with like a white primer and then going over with a chalk paint or something. But I think I would just get some black spray paint for myself for the Halloween one spray paint it, put maybe a bow or ribbon up here and then some spiders on it and sit it on my front porch. I would definitely paint it in separate pieces so I could store it stacked inside of itself because that's how it will store. Which again, I think is pretty darn fantastic for decor, you know, that it stores in this lot, small a piece. So that is definitely a great find for $5. If you see them, pick them up. They're readily available in all the plus stores I've been in. And then I don't need more blankets, but I don't have a Halloween one, so I guess I do. I picked up this. It is plush throw, we're calling it. I need scissors. That plastic also feels weird, so I would definitely say wash it. Maybe even sand it before you try spray painting it. I'm not sure that I will do that, but give it a good, give it a spray paint maybe with a a primer built in. Um, just trying to take this off so I can show you because I'm excited and I haven't seen it yet. And again, I'm not sure why I'm so excited for Halloween to decorate. I don't tip, I mean, I don't, I'm not a not a Halloween person. I just am not really a, I don't know. I'm, I'm digging the black and purple this year. How about that? All right. They use a lot of these little um, clippy thingies. I can tell you that. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know how much it'll wash up or how well. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Nice size. Not super soft, but again, who cares? It's for decor. Guys, I love it. I love it. It's only on one side. So the back side is just and it's not, it's not overly, I mean, it's fine. It's black, you have your stitching on the back, but this is definitely metallic. And it's stamped on here, not sewn in, but I'm loving it. So this is definitely gonna go on the back of my sofa for Halloween. The cats will 100% lay on it. So I will see how it washes up. But look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. And again, for $5, you can't really go wrong. I mean, you put it out for the season. If it's if it doesn't wash well, you're out $5. If it washes well, bonus. Let's see what it says. 
Printed plush throw. It's 50 inches by 60. It's 100% polyester. Polyester. It says wash before use. Machine wash cold with light colors. Only non-chlorine bleach when needed. Tumble dry low. Remove promptly from dryer. I'm not sure why it says wash first. I'm not going to because I'm afraid that the silver will do something. And I love it. So... This will be going out October 1st with all of my Halloween decor. And I'm super excited. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and the things I found at my Dollar Tree. And I will be back again and I will talk with you later. Bye.